everybody, and welcome to Chrono Plays Nerd Blocks Arcade Block. This is for April 2015. I have to sit there and count out the months because I keep losing track of my days. Uh, yes, because it's May now, and I always get it delivered the first week of the next month. So this is the... Uh, fr I might be tired a little bit. I have a slight cold, and I've been taking you know, DayQuil to help with that. So I might be a little bit <clears throat> out of it right now, but uh, I'm excited to see what in, what's in the box, so that's why I'm recording. So here we go. And we have, at first, we have... Ooh, it's a Kingdom Hearts shirt. Yeah, I told my ex-roommate that he should have got Nerd Block. He freaking loves Kingdom Hearts. It's a really nice shirt, too. It is actually pretty. Very pretty. That's Kingdom Hearts 2, right? I'm trying to remember from his outfit. Though, of course, the Kellers look weird to me. But, uh, yeah, I don't fully understand Kingdom Hearts. I don't think I've ever beaten Kingdom Hearts 2 in, or any of the uh, other games. I beat Kingdom Hearts 1. I played through but never finished Kingdom Hearts 2. And what was it? we had Birth by Sleep, and there was something else, and I forget what it was, but uh, I never played those. Um, so I'm not a big Kingdom Hearts fan. I, however, have a lot of those games, actually, because my roommate abandoned them here. So let's take a look at this Pac-Man thing. Contains one Blinky the Salt Pot and one Inky the Pepper Pot. Oh, that's salt and pepper Pac-Man things. Trippy. Uh, oh, they're uh, ceramic. Trippy. They actually look pretty awesome. Huh. Neat. I was just thinking I needed a new salt, salt shaker. But I want one that ha that the co top is covered, like I can close it. Because the reason I need a new salt shaker is because I pulled out my salt shaker and there was an ant dead in it. So it had crawled up the side and crawled into the holes. So I'm like, huh. I mean, I could clean that salt shaker, of course. That's nothing. But uh, I want one that closes, so. Next, we have Skylander Spyro's Adventure. It's a drobot. What the frack are you? Blink and destroy destruction instantaneously. Well, it's from the Skylanders. And, uh, yeah, basically what this thing is like, it's like the Amiibos. But, uh, you know, this came first. So technically Amiibos ripped off of this thing. But, uh, you know what? I'm not going to take this out of the box. I'm going to leave this in the box for reasons mostly because i just want to leave it in the box so let's leave that in the box and move on to the next thing it is apparently the back of this guy so apparently it was supposed to go this way like that but it fell off in shipping all right so leaving him in box is now utterly completely worthless because he's no longer in box <laughs> Yeah, that had nothing, did it? Mm. Let go. Let go. Ugh. Yeah, okay. So let's take a cl close look at this thing. It looks pretty awesome, actually. It actually kind of looks badass. And I do like collecting dragon stuff. I have plenty of dragon stuff collection. So, uh, so basically what it is is there's an RFID chip in here. And this thing integrates with the Skylanders game, so you put it on the RFID reader, and you get to play as this thing. I don't know. I never actually played it before. Um, but yeah, basically, it's like what the Amiibos are, except they came before the Amiibos. So, bloop. In case you didn't know what they were, but, you know, I don't see why anybody wouldn't, anybody who plays games anyways. We got another keychain. And this is actually a really nice keychain because this is, it looks like an old chest, like from uh, Legend of Zelda, the original. 
Possibly, does it actually say? Uh, hang on, let's open this guy up. It's a, it's a nerd block exclusive. There's the opening. Level up. Anything with this 8-bit treasure. Backpacks, hoodies, magic keys, and more. Yeah, so it is, it is a treasure chest. It looks like a treasure chest from Legend of Zelda, which would fit with the background. And, of course, it's got the Nerd Block logo. They got to slap their name on everything, which is fine. It's not a problem. That's actually pretty cool. I might actually use this instead of actually instead of hanging it up somewhere. I might actually use that. Let's see. What do we got here? We have Video Games Live Level 4 Arcade Block Edition. Only from Arcade Block. Is this a music CD? Yes. Uh, make sure this is in shot and not covered in... Yeah, there we go. Donkey Kong Country, League of Legends, The Challengers, Final Fantasy, is that supposed to be 7? Because it looks like Final Fantasy UI to me. Uh, Cave Story, World of Warcraft, I wonder if I'll recognize that. Metal Gear Solid 3, Uncharted 2, Zelda's Lullaby, oh cool, I like that one. At least I think I like that one. Uh, yeah, I think so. I'm trying to remember which one Zelda lull Zelda's Lullaby. I think I remember it correctly. Mm. Anyways, Resident Evil 5, Wind of Madness, Assassin's Creed, I'm assuming that's 4, Black Flag, well, yeah, Black Flag, so that, yeah, that's definitely a 4, and that would be Final Fantasy 7, you know, the most popular Final Fantasy, even though 8 was my favorite. Bioshock, Earthworm Jim, uh, exclusive bonus tracks, Chrono Cross, Radical Dreamers, cool, uh, and Castlevania Rock Live. Okay, roll it at. That's cool, music CD. I'll have, to be I'll have to listen to that later. And then we have a comic book. No, magazine. Retro video game. I don't know, it's hard to see. I always hate it when magazines do this. I really, really despise it when magazines do this, where they have the title behind the images, so it's completely covering the image. It's like, yeah, tell me what magazine that is. Fuck, I don't know. Yeah, um, I'm going to guess that that says Retro Video Game Magazine, but I can't fucking tell. Um, does it say on the side anywhere? No, of course not. And it's an arcade block thing. Um... So what are you? I guess you're just a magazine. Flip, 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 flip. Yeah, you're just a magazine. Okie dokie. So it's a video game magazine for retro games. Uh, and they seem to be highlighting Mortal Kombat. But not the original Mortal Kombat because this guy's there. And I forget his name. So is she. That's, that's uh, Johnny Cage's daughter, isn't it? This is Mortal Kombat 10. Why the fuck is Mortal Kombat 10 on a retro video game magazine? Yeah, moving along. Uh, what do you think of this arcade block? We'd like to know. Um, mm, I might be tempted to feedback that. Cheat code I want to use in real life is... Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A, start. Dude, it's on the fucking tape. <laughs> it's right there. Uh, uh, and then we got this thing, which, of course, shows all the stuff. We got, uh, the highlight is apparently the Pac-Man salt and pepper shakers, which is neat. I like the Pac-Man salt and pepper shakers. I really do like them. Uh, retro magazine jam-packed with gaming goodness for the masses, even though it's not terribly retro. Uh, Kingdom Hearts t-shirt, Skylanders figure. Apparently, you get a, you can, uh, get a couple of them, which is really cool. Video games live, level four. I'm assuming this is just video game music performed by actual orchestras and stuff which i really like uh i got the uh, legend of zelda 25th anniversary soundtrack in skyward sword i think yeah skyward sword uh i enjoy the hell out of it actually uh treasure chest zipper pull i have a t-shirt that's actually missing a zipper pull hey i got a replacement now <laughs> sweet and then the retro magazine each issue of Retro is jam-packed with content written by gaming industry icons and journalists covering the very best of inter interactive entertainment from the classics of yesteryear to blockbusters of today. And why the fuck is it called Retro Gaming? Ugh. 
Anything else? No, didn't think so. That's fine. All right, so that was Nerd Blocks Arcade Block for January, February, March, April, April 2015. I'd be able to tell what month it is if, it was, if I was actually getting these things in the month that they're supposed to be in. So forgive me on that one. So I will see you guys in the next episode. And as always, keep playing the game and have fun.